A dialogue is a conversation between two or more people. To write an effective dialogue, you must create a realistic situation on which to build the conversation. Examples of realistic situations. A visit to a place, a school, monument, hospital, etc. A special occasion, a public holiday, birthday, wedding. A newsworthy event, an important topic in the media. Once you have created the situation, start the conversation. Sample realistic situation. It is December 25th, the anniversary of Kaide Azam's birth. A man who knew the Kaide as a young man in England visits your school to address an assembly. Afterwards, Ikram asks to talk to him to learn more. Determine whether the characters need to greet each other. One person has to start. A good way to start the dialogue is with a question. To continue, with our example. Sample beginning. Student. Sir, my name is Ikram Khan, and I was very impressed by your memories of the Kaid as a young man. May I ask you some more questions? Speaker. Of course, my son. Thank you for your interest. Jinnah was a very serious student. I remember, etc. Here are some general ideas on how the dialogue might develop. Ikram could ask about Jinnah's life at school in England and what kind of friend and student he was. He could also ask how these experiences may have led up to his interest in law and politics. School, Jinnah's favorite courses, his thoughts on British educational system. Personal. Jinnah as a friend and fellow student, what it was like to be in a class with him. Family, relationships with siblings and what the family thought of Jinnah's studying in England. Public career, experiences in England that might have led to his interest in law and politics. Here are some general guidelines. Each character in the dialogue should speak the language vocabulary and syntax appropriate to their age and position. An adult should not be mistaken for a teenager, and vice versa. Each character should use good communication skills. Ideas should be articulated clearly, and there should be no doubt about what a character means. Point of view must be consistent. The dialogue must be interactive. When one character says something, the other must react to it and conversation then follows until the subject moves in another direction or ends. Information, goals, and or arguments should be well thought out and convincing. There are many kinds of dialogue, but those listed below are best suited to your assignment. Choose one. Persuasive. Each speaker makes recommendations or suggestions that he wants the other to accept or agree to. Narrative. This is a general back and forth exchange of information in order to enrich understanding or achieve a goal. Problem solving. Factual information is exchanged formally in order to solve a problem. Thank you for listening.